Uh, first of all, uh, all of us agree that we should use this opportunity uh, to do something meaningful on debt and deficits. Uh, and the reports that have been out there have been largely accurate uh, that Speaker Boehner uh, and myself had been in a series of conversations about doing the biggest deal possible. And uh, there's going to be resistance. There is, frankly, resistance on my side to do anything uh, on uh, entitlements. There is strong resistance on the Republican side to do anything on revenues. I'm happy to consider all, all options, all alternatives uh, that they're looking at. The things that I will not consider uh, are a 30-day or a 60-day or a 90-day or 180-day uh, temporary stopgap resolution to this problem. We might as well do it now. Uh, pull off the Band-Aid. Eat our peas. Uh, you know, now's the time to do it. Uh, if not now, when? I'm prepared to take on significant heat from my party to get something done. And I expect the other side should be willing to do the same thing if they mean what they say, that this is important. I do not see a path to, do, uh, to a deal if they don't budge, period. This is not pleasant. You know, it is, it is hard to persuade people to do hard stuff. My point is, is that I'm willing to move in their direction in order to get something done. And that's what compromise entails. It's not because I want to raise revenues for the, ra for the sake of raising revenues or I've got some grand ambition to create uh, uh, a bigger government. It's because if we're going to actually solve the problem, there are a finite number of ways to do it. And if you don't have revenues, it means you are putting more of a burden on the people who can least afford it. And that's not fair. I think the American people agree with me on that. My uh, experience with John Boehner is, uh, ha has been good. Uh, I think he's uh, uh, a, a good man who wants to do right by the country. Uh, I think that it's a, uh, uh, as Chip alluded to, uh, the politics that swept him into the speakership uh, were, were good for a midterm election. They're tough for governing. So this is not uh, a right or left conservative liberal situation. This is how do we operate in a smart way, uh, understanding that we've got some short-term challenges and some long-term challenges. If we can solve some of those long-term challenges, that frees up uh, some of our energies to be able to deal with some of these short-term ones as well. All right? Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.